Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. God bless you. Thank God for you. Amen. Coming online this morning, this Sunday morning. Amen. Again, this is the day that our Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. We thank God for everybody coming online this morning. Amen. There you go. Amen. God bless you again, everybody. Amen. We bring you greetings from Citadel of Hope Mission. Amen. Located at 70 North Grove Street in East Orange, New Jersey. Amen. As you know, we are socially distancing ourselves right now. Amen. But the church is in our hearts. Amen. And it's in our homes today. Amen. So we want to say happy Mother's Day to everybody. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Amen. That are coming online this morning. Amen. And if you're getting this later on, happy Mother's Day to you. Amen. And we, we just want to pray the blessings of God over your life as a mother. Amen. Our mothers are very important to us. Amen. But before we go any further, we just want to open up with prayer this morning. Amen. So let us bow our heads in a word of prayer. Father God, we come to you today, oh God. First of all, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, oh God, for uh, bringing us here once again. God, that we can connect with one another through this social media, oh God. Father, we thank you for, uh, again, every household that is represented here on the line today. Father, we ask you right now to bless each and every house in the name of Jesus. And bless each and every participant. Bless each and every loved one in the name of Jesus, oh God. And as we remember our mothers on today, Father, we ask you right now, oh God, to send a special blessing to our mothers. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we give you praise, oh God, for what they represent. Because our mothers represent who you are. Hallelujah. They represent your love. They represent your nurturing. They represent your loving kindness, oh God. Father, we thank you right now. Hallelujah. For all of our mothers, oh God, we ask you right now, oh God, again, to just allow your healing hand, oh God, to uh, sweep over the cities, oh God, to sweep over our land. In the name of Jesus, so many are in need of a healing, oh God. So many are still suffering in their bodies, oh God, from different illnesses. Father, we know, oh God, that you are able to heal, set free, and deliver. So continue, oh God, to, to just be with us on today. Father, we invite you, oh God, into our homes today. We invite you, oh God, into our hearts today, oh God. And we ask that your will be done. Your will be done. Hallelujah. Now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen and amen. How many know we serve a great God? Hallelujah. That song has been ringing in our hearts this morning. Amen. That we serve a great God. Amen. And today, amen, my brother's playing in the background this morning. How great is our God. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this together. Hallelujah. That how great. Is our God. Does he belong to you? Come on, does he belong to you? Come on. How great is our God. Come on, sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, we'll sing how great. How great. Come on, all my singers. Come on, y'all. Oh, how great is our God. Come on, 
mighty God. Amen. At this time, I'm going to invite my wife to come on camera with me. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to my beautiful wife. Come on this side, sweetie. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Happy to Mother's wife. Day to all of you. We <laughs> love you. And thank you so much for all the texts this morning. I love all you guys. I miss you. I can't wait to get back. <laughs> Enjoy God bless your you. day. Enjoy your day, everybody. Amen. We thank God, amen, for my wife. Amen. Wait a minute, sweetie. Oh, okay. um, I, I, I need to thank Minister Janet today for in uh, for uh, putting my wife in this new scoop of the cash app. Uh, <laughs> my wife uh, just became aware of what the cash app does last night. Amen. So uh, last night, Minister Janet uh, cash apped her and she was wanting to know how this cash app works. So she asked me, she said, well, let's test it. So I sent her $50 for a test. And I said, okay, now you can test how to send money. So she sent me back $10. So I'm still waiting for the other $40, which I don't think I'm going to be receiving. So, amen. So, amen. So thank you, Minister Janet, for creating a monster. Uh, but we thank God for you. Amen. And happy Mother's Day again, sweetie. God bless you. Love you. Uh, <laughs> So, again, amen, we just want to bless the Lord today, amen, and I'm going to just, amen, we have another song on our heart today, hallelujah, amen, this song came in really as a request today, amen, that we're going to bless the Lord at all times, and his praise will continually, come on, no matter what you're going through, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Psalms 34 says this. Amen. And we're going to sing the word of God today. Come on. Are you ready? I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah, anyhow. 
Thank you, Lord. We're going to celebrate today. Hallelujah. Are you ready to celebrate? Hallelujah. We're celebrating God. Hallelujah. We're celebrating God. We're celebrating who he is. Amen. We're celebrating that he blessed us with mothers. Hallelujah. Mothers such as yourself. Amen. And we thank God again. Amen. As I contemplate on mothers today. Amen. I think of how we were so blessed. Amen. This is my brother and I and my siblings. This is our first Mother's Day without our mother physically present. Amen. But we choose to celebrate her. Amen. And we choose to celebrate you. Some of us, amen, have lost our moms. Amen. Through the years. Amen. But I want to tell you today, amen, I don't find the sadness in my heart. Amen. I find joy in my heart because the Lord blessed us. Amen. To experience her love. Amen. And to experience the love of my mother. Amen. Was such a blessing in our lives. Amen. I'm looking at her wedding photo behind me there. Amen. So we just thank God. Amen. Amen. That we celebrate her today. Amen. Who's also our first lady. Amen. Of Citadel of Hope Mission. Amen. We don't want to forget her. Amen. Neither do we want to forget my grandmother on today, Mother Geraldine Powell. Amen. Who have both gone on to be with the Lord. Amen. They're both uh, are living in their reward. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because to go uh, beyond this life is to go to reward to those that are in Christ Jesus. Amen. But they don't, amen, uh, 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 just leave us. Amen. They are still, they are still in our hearts. Their ministries are still going forward. Amen. amen. And, and we, per, we propel those ministries, amen, through our ministries. Amen. We just add on, right? Hallelujah. We just add on to the ministries, amen, that God had given them, amen, for a time such as this. Amen. And we just want to celebrate, amen, the mothers that are on the line again. Amen. There's a few, amen, that I would like to call out. One is Mother uh, Helen Sparrow, amen, who is the elder of our house, amen, who is the elder of our church, amen. I hear, amen, she's well into, uh, well, we know that she is well into her 90s, amen, and she had come down with the pneumonia from this COVID, but we, we are getting good reports, amen, that even in her 90s, come on, y'all, mom is a fighter. Amen. And I believe that she's on the other side of recovery. Amen. So we want to thank God for recovery today. Amen. For Mother Helen Sparrow. Amen. So we thank God for her. Amen. Another pillar of our church. Amen. Mother Ciola Harris. Amen. We want to remember her today. Amen. Hallelujah. She's at home resting comfortably. Amen. But we want to remember her. Amen. These are the ones. Amen. And also, amen. We lost our mother, uh, uh, China C. Green. Amen. Back in January. Amen. I just want to remember her. These three pioneer women. Amen. Were three pioneers for Citadel of Hope Mission. That is uh, uh, Mother Geraldine Powell, who is the founder, along with Mother China C. Green and along with Mother Ciola Harris. Amen. We want to remember these three pillars. Amen. That were, amen, started, amen, Citadel of Hope Mission. They were part of the first families. Amen. In Citadel of Hope Mission. I know that there are others that were in the house. Amen. But these three, amen, along with Mother Helen Sparrow, who is just there for her longevity. Amen. Been there almost from day one. Amen. We just want to remember them today and say happy Mother's Day to you all. Amen. And we're remembering you on today. Amen. So again, amen. Come on, let's give God a hand praise today. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You know, there's something that is on my heart. I, 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 I haven't had a chance to speak with Minister West about it, but it's on my heart and we're going to pull it off somehow. We're going to do this somehow. Amen. The Lord has put it on my heart, amen, to do, since my wife was introduced to Cash App yesterday, amen, my wife and I want to Cash App, amen, I'm going to say, uh, say four people, but I want four single mothers, 
all right, for single mothers today. Amen. We want to cash app you today. But what you're going to have to do, and you don't have to do it right now, uh, but uh, I want you somehow to maybe log into our website, uh, maybe go to the praise report or, or somewhere on there to register. Uh, I want to do, you know what, let's make it eight mothers today. Uh, we're going to do $25 for each single mother today, all right? Uh, I want you to go onto our website and follow us on there, log on there, citadelofhopemission.org. That's citadelofhopemission.org. The Lord is putting it on our hearts today, amen, and we're going to give at least eight single mothers, at least eight single mothers, at least. So go on there. Um, we want to bless you today with at least $25. Uh, we're going to give that. Amen. It's not coming, it's not from, amen, it's represented Citadel of Hope Mission, but it's going to come from myself and my wife. All right? So at least eight mothers. I want you to go on there and like us and follow us on citadelofhopemission.org. Amen. We're going to put a blessing, amen, in your pocket. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap for that. Amen. Hallelujah. So again, amen, we thank God for all that are on the line on today. Amen. And we're going to post the names and everybody that are, we're going to post the names somehow of how uh, those that are going to receive this blessing on today. All right. Uh, my brother, what song do you have for us? We got one more. Oh, a couple more. What you got? All right, you want to do that. This song here, y'all, uh, this is the first time that we're ever really doing it live on Facebook. My father wrote this song some years ago. Uh, we copy wrote this song some years ago. We sing it in Citadel of Hope Mission all the time. But uh, I don't have my backup singers with me, so y'all want to have to be patient with us. But the song is, Jesus, yes. you are my redeemer. Has it redeemed you today? Come on, are you redeemed today? We are the redeemed of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And I just love this song. Uh, my father, he started it out as a poem. And, and, and my brother wind up arranging it. My brother and I, we arranged it. So I, I believe that this song is going to go worldwide. This is going to be part of our album coming out. Hopefully this November, somewhere around there. Uh, we've been working on it. This, uh, this, 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 what we're going through right now is kind of, uh, 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 it hasn't halted because we've been able to practice at home but this song here is very precious to us amen so we're going to sing this together all right come on come on y'all put your hands together come on i'm gonna give you the permission to dance around your house this morning come on i don't want anybody sitting down today come on we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give god some praise today
somewhere around November, December. We're working on it, so amen. We thank God for your support in that. It's a long time coming. It's a long time coming. Amen. But we just, amen, want to, amen, go to the Lord in prayer this morning as we get ready to go into our uh, word for today. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. And just letting you know, just to give you some time, we're going to be coming from Exodus chapter 2. Amen. Exodus chapter 2. Hallelujah. Come on, let us pray. Father God, we thank you right now for this time. Again, oh God, that we are going to be able to go into your word. Hallelujah. Father, we ask you right now, oh God, to word our mouth so that we can speak what you have for us to speak to your people on today. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask you right now, oh God, to break up the stony grounds of our heart, that we can receive all that you have for us on today. God, we ask you right now, oh God, to help us to reign in our minds from all issues, from all problems, from all circumstances, so that we can solely concentrate on your word today. In the name of Jesus, block out all the noise, the noise of life that is in our ears so that we can hear your voice at a time such as this. So God, today, oh God, as we speak your word, we ask you right now, oh God, to let the Holy Ghost go through the airwaves right now and prepare us for what you have to say to us. In Jesus' name, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for you all again today. 
Amen. For joining us online, Citadel of Hope Mission. Amen. Again, we want to say for those that are just maybe coming on, we want to say Happy Mother's Day to you again. We're celebrating all of our mothers. And today, amen, I want to talk about a mother, amen, who is sometimes overlooked in the Word of God. And as you see here in the second chapter of Exodus, people say, how are you going to talk about a mother in Exodus? Amen. But we're talking about the mother of Moses. Yes. Hallelujah. The mother of Moses today um, and the importance of her. Mm -hmm. uh, as I was um, thinking about her and as the Lord just laid this scripture in my heart, amen, I was thinking of her. Come on, let us read. Let's do that first. Uh, uh, in the uh, second, first verse, it says, And there went a man out of the house of Levi mm -hmm. and took to a wife a daughter of Levi, and the woman conceived and bare a son. Mm -hmm. And when, he, when she saw him that he was a goodly child, she hid him three months. Yeah. And when she could not longer hide him, she took for him an ark of bulrushes, and dabbed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein and she laid it in the flags by the riverbanks. Amen. amen. We're going to stop right there for a minute. Amen. So here we see, amen, because of the circumstances that uh, Moses was born into. Amen. If you go back to the first chapter, you'll see where Pharaoh was uh, upset that the, 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 the children of God were multiplying so much mm -hmm. that he put out a decree, amen, that any new children that were born that were male were to be thrown into the river and killed, amen. and that they would keep the female child, amen, so that they would be able to use them for slave labor, mm -hmm. amen. But we see here, amen, in this, especially in this third verse, Amen. And I, I, I want to talk about this mother who is the ark builder. Yes. Come on, we're talking about the ark builder mm -hmm. and the importance of the ark builder. Hallelujah. And as I think back on, you know, the ark, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, Noah had nothing on Moses' mother. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We know that Moses, when we talk about the ark builder, most of our minds go back to Noah. And we know that he was able to save mm -hmm. uh, his family from the, 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 the turmoil that came upon the earth and yeah. the flood that came upon the earth. Amen. And, and we thank God for that ark builder. But I want you to know, amen, that Moses' mother, amen, was also an ark builder. And because of this ark, which was on such a smaller scale... Mm -hmm did such a great work yes. because through this ark, she saved a nation. Come on, y'all. Through this ark, she saved a nation. Hallelujah. And we thank God for this because of this, amen, that we're standing here today because this nation was also the nation that our Lord and Savior would come through. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we thank God. And, and the Bible tells us, amen, that uh, uh, when she could no longer hide him, she took an ark of bulrushes. Now, I want you to know, amen, that bulrushes was the building blocks of this ark. Mm -hmm. Now, what are bulrushes? Bulrushes was a, a strong grass that grew by the riverside. Yes. All right? It was a strong grass that grew by the riverside that was so strong, it was, it was waterproof. Mm -hmm. It was able to be waterproof, and it was able to float. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And see here, this mother took her time to build this place of safety because we know that the ark is what? The ark is to be considered a place of safety in the midst of danger. Yes. In the midst of danger. Hallelujah. And I think about the mothers. Amen. I think about my mother. Uh, I think about a lot of, I got a lot of mothers in my life. Yes. A lot of mothers who have throughout the years have seeded into my life that has built the ark that I'm in even today. Yes. Amen. Because I want you to know, amen, that 
uh, 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 it was not by mistake that God created male and female. Because he couldn't find all of his attributes just in the male. So he created female. He created mothers to be able to express the other attributes that men could not do. If you look at the, the body of a woman, the body of a woman is also a type of arc. That is the arc that is the, that, that womb, amen, is a type of arc that allows uh, that woman to bring that child through. Amen. And if you know anything about pregnancy, it's a dangerous thing. But it causes the woman to be able to hold that child in that ark to allow that child to grow and become what God wants it to be. Yes. And it's through that woman, it's through that ark, hallelujah, that we're all here today. <laughs> Amen. So we thank God for that ark. Amen. But even beyond that ark, y'all, there's another ark after we come into this world. There's another, there's a spiritual arc that we as mothers and fathers must contribute to building around our children. Hallelujah. Amen. And that spiritual arc, amen, it has to, it, it has to be the right material. It has to be the right material. Some of us, amen, we wonder why. Our children are going uh, different ways or, 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 or why their lives are not what we expected it to be. Today, I want to question what material are you building the ark with around your children? Come on, I'm talking to mothers and fathers today. We know, amen, that this mother, amen, she chose this material purposely. She knew what material she was going to use because she knew what was required for him to make it to the other side. Hallelujah. I'm sure there was other things that were available, but she chose the strongest material that she knew of to make sure that Moses made it to the other side. So my question to you is, what materials are you using? Come on, when you speak into your children's lives, when you see it into your children's lives, not even your own children, but I believe that, you know how they say it takes a village to raise a child? Yes. There's some of us, we may not have physical children or biological children, but we're all a part, amen, as the church, as the children of God, as neighborhoods, we're, we all have a responsibility, amen, to help weave that ark, that ark that is going to carry that child to the other side. Amen. And is, is, is the material that you're using, amen, the good building blocks of life? Are we encouraging our children? Are we telling them, yes, you can? Or are we cursing them? And are we telling them that you're going to amount to nothing? Or I mean, we got to watch the words of our mouth. Because our words have power. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know a lot of us, even today, right now, even as a parent of adults now, amen, I know that I have weaved some things in my children's basket that were not expedient to them making it on the other side. But for the most part, they have enough to float. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that. I believe that they have enough to float. I believe that we have put enough uh, a scripture in them. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that my wife and I did. The Bible says what? This is what the Bible is talking about. That when you raise up a child in the way that they should go, when they get old, they won't depart from it. Am I saying that they're going to do everything that you want them to do or everything that you require them to do? No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is God is telling us, give them some good building blocks yes. to make it to the other side. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you right now, amen, that as we read down in this scripture, not only did she use the bull rushes, but the Bible says that she dabbed it with slime 
and with pitch. Hallelujah. Now see, to me, personally, this is where the difference of a mother and father comes in. Because I know that even in my own experience sometimes, amen, when my children got to a certain level, amen, of, uh, of what I thought to be ignorance, amen, when they get to a certain level that they don't want to listen, amen, I know that as a father, I was ready to wash my hands, all right? I was ready to wash my hands of the situation, but because they have a mother, which is my wife, that was willing, come on y'all, yes. to get the slime, come on, to get dirty. How many had a mother that would, would, was willing to get dirty? Yes. Come on, that was willing to get down and dirty. Hallelujah. In order to pull you through. I know that's what my mother did for me. Hallelujah. That's why I thank God and that's why I celebrate my mother. Hallelujah. Because she was willing to get down and dirty with me. She was willing to get... Come down in the slime that I was in. Come on, y'all. And she was able to reinforce my basket. She was able to reinforce, come on, reinforce my ark. Hallelujah. And how did she do it? She didn't do it by just words, but she did it through prayer and fasting. Come on, y'all. You, you want to know what the building blocks are? You want to know what the slime and the pitch is? Come on now. It may sound dirty, but that's what it takes to make your ark buoyant, to be able to make your ark to float. Hallelujah. To make your ark stay above level. Come on. That's what it takes. That's what a good mother will do. That's what a mother in Zion will do. That's what a church mother will do. They will come into the house of God on a Friday night and stay on their knees all night long. Hallelujah. Tiring for you. Calling on the Lord. That's the slide. That's the pitch that has to be used on your ark. So I'm asking you, what are you putting in your children's ark? Hallelujah. Some of us, we're putting stones. We're putting rocks. We're putting weights. Come on, I know I'm talking to somebody today. Some of us are still surviving because of the grace of God. I know all of us did not have that mother that spent time in prayer for us. Some put the weights in our boat. Some put the uh, rocks and stones in our boat. But God's grace is still sufficient. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of his grace, even in spite of the mistakes that we've made. Come on. And some of us are still making those mistakes today. Hallelujah. We're still making those mistakes today. But because of God, because he's our redeemer. And when you make him the king of your life and the joy of your soul, come on, he'll lift you up. Come on, he said he'll lift you up out of the miry clay and he'll plant your feet on a rock to stay. And this is the reason, come on, y'all know the song, this is the reason why I sing and I shout because my Jesus reached down, way down, and he lifted me up. Somebody say, lift me up, Lord. I know a lot of us, we, 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 we say, well, you know, I, I really don't have the mother that I really necessarily think I need to celebrate. She wasn't all that, you know, I thought she should be. Hallelujah. Well, let me tell you something. The Bible tells us, I don't care what she's done or what even your father has done. The Bible tells us to honor your mother and your father. That your days might be long. So somebody on this line today, maybe you need to call your mother. Maybe you haven't talked to your mother in a while. Hallelujah. You know, children, they don't come with our manuals, especially when we don't have Christ operating in our lives. That's why I thank God that I had the mother and father because I had a starting point. I saw, come on, I saw... 
what parents are supposed to do. But you got to understand, we got a lot of single parents out here that are just repeating the mistakes of our parents and our grandparents before them. But it's up to you to break the cycle. Hallelujah. Some of us, I know I used to say coming up, I'll never do this to my children. I'll never do this. I'll never do that because that's how my mother and father reared us. But I find myself doing the same thing. Thank God it's beneficial things. But how many know sometimes we repeat things that are parent things that are things that are detrimental to our children? And this is when we need to seek the face of God. So again, I'm asking you, what are the building blocks? What are the building blocks? Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. Some of us, we feel like, well, you know what, Pastor? I wish I could. I wish I could. Because my mother is now going, I can't tell her I love her. I can't tell her I did this. I can't tell her I did that. Amen. Let me tell you something. God will bring you through that. But even beyond that, let me tell you, it puts a greater responsibility on you to do what you're supposed to do by your children. Don't go throughout life living with regret. That's why I can stand here today and still do what God has called me to do, even though I lost my mother just recently in November. Because I have no regrets, because I believe that we were the sons and the daughters. Hallelujah. What, what we could do, we did. But God had her. God has your mom. I'm believing that today. So I'm not saying this thing so that you can start to look back over your life and start regretting things that were said. No, 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 no. God is a forgiving God. Amen. And even sometimes when we feel like we sinned against our mother and our father, the Bible says that you really sinned against God. When you don't respect, when you don't honor, you're doing it as unto God. So you need to ask God for his forgiveness. And he will make it all right in your heart. I believe that. None of us go throughout this life without regret. All of us have that story. Most of us have that story of something in our heart, some type of unforgiveness. This is why we need God. This is why we need him in our lives. The building blocks of the ark. The building blocks of the ark. What are you using today? Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible goes on to say, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. She dabbed it with slime and with pitch in the third verse and put the child therein. And she laid it in the flags by the riverbank. Amen. I'm going to tell you something, saints of God. This was no small feat. Because you got to understand that not only did this mother build the ark, but it came a time in her life that she had to let go and let God. I'm talking to somebody today because you feel like, you know, Lord, I did all I can do. I'm praying and my child is still not the person who I think they should be. Or they're still not acting the way I think they should act. Well, let me tell you something. You speak a word of encouragement you keep on praying even though they may not physically be there with you. Amen. There's going to come a point in your life that you're going to have to let go and let God have his way. And his way is not always comfortable. The songwriter said, nobody told me that the road would be easy. But I don't believe that he brought me this far to leave me. So there are some of us that are in different stages of our life. Now, if your child is eight years old or you're still rearing them, no, you can't let them go at this point. But there comes some point, and some of y'all know what I'm talking about. When they get old enough, you got to say, you know what? I've done what I can do. 
but I'm still not going to stop praying. I'm going to still continue to get that slime and get that pitch. I'm going to still continue to pray for you. Amen. But I'm also going to trust God. I trust you, Lord. Some of our children are even upset with us right now because they feel like, huh? They feel like we put rocks or we put weights in their ark. And that's all right because a lot of times all you got to do is keep on living and you'll see, you'll see what your parents, you'll be able to weigh out what your parents have done to you. <laughs> Like I said, nobody comes with a manual. That's why we got to have forgiveness in our hearts. And I'm going to tell you right now, that takes a move of God. You got to have forgiveness in your heart. And when you forgive others, he'll forgive you. That's what the Bible tells us. Hallelujah. But here this mother, she had to let go and let God. And she did not let Moses go. Come on. In an easy place. This was not just a still river. You got to understand that this river for many represented death. This was the same river that children were being thrown in to die. Come on, this was a difficult place. And a lot of us we feel like, hey amen, that when we when we we always want to let our children go in the most safe environment. Hallelujah. And our children, sometimes they just don't want to be in that safe environment. We find them out there hanging out on the streets and doing things they're not supposed to do. Amen. And let's not forget now, we've all had our conversation in times past. I've been there. You've been there. You didn't want to listen. Our parents don't know you got to do this and you got to do it this way. And we wanted to be disobedient. That's why the Bible says all disobedience is sin. Hallelujah. I've been there too. But my mother and father put enough slime on my ark. Hallelujah. That I can make it to the other side. Amen. And they put more slime than prayer. They put more pitch than prayer. Amen. They put some on the ark of my behind sometime. That's what it takes. <laughs> Come on, how many know what I'm talking about today? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I ain't talking child abuse. I'm talking about proper rearing. Amen. Of your children. Amen. So I'm just saying today, amen, that, amen, we have to make sure, amen, that we try to situate our children as comfortably as we can. But sometimes, amen, when kids and, and adults, they get resistant, you've got to let go and let God. And what I love about this, amen, is that you know, amen, that she let them go with a, she let Moses go with a purpose. Believing God that he was going to end up in a place. Come on. She had faith that he was going to end up in a place that would propel him to greatness. And what I love about it is that his sister was on the banks of the river watching over him as he floated through this dangerous place. And it reminds me of how when my mother and father decided to let me go, even though I don't think I was all that bad, but that's me saying that. No, my sister wasn't watching. My brother wasn't watching because they were on rivers of their own. But you know who was watching over me? The Holy Ghost was on the river banks of my life. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost will watch over you. And he will give you direction. Come on, how many know the Holy Ghost will direct your heart? And it will take you to the place. Come on. You might go through some rough waters. You might go through some rough times. Hallelujah. But what the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it around for your good. Because we are people of destiny. We are people of purpose. 
and we have a purpose in our life. There's somebody's liberty depending on us making it. There's somebody's freedom, come on, and it's depending on us to make it to the other side. It's depending on us to get the gospel on the inside of us that we can present it to the world. Somebody is looking at your life, come on, they're looking at your living even as we speak. They're looking at your life even right now because you made it to the other side. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There's a small nation depending on you. Come on, there's a nation depending on you. There's a nation of soldiers depending on you. They're waiting for the commands of the Lord to come out of your mouth. It might even be your own children. It might be your co-workers. It might be some family member somewhere. Hallelujah. But somebody. God could not allow Moses not to make it. And the Bible says that he has no respect of person. Hallelujah. God wants you to make it. He wants to give you purpose. You understand that through him making it and making it into the enemy's camp. Come on, y'all. Come on, Moses floated into the enemy's camp. What mother, come on now, we think about this now. What mother would allow her son to float into the enemy's camp? But when God has a purpose for your life, you cannot be stopped. You cannot be blocked. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. And the will of God will be performed in your life no matter what. The Bible says in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah. And I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the green grass. He leadeth me beside the still water. So I'm telling you, your ark is being led today. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path, come on, of righteousness. It may not look like you want it to look. Your children may not be going the way you think you want them to go. Amen. But we got to pray that he's leading them in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. It's not to make you look good. It's not for somebody to say you're a good father or you're a good mother. But it's because of him. Come on, it all goes back to God. All glory goes back to Jesus. For his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. So you got to be comforted. Even though you might be going through some tough times, you might be going through some tough decisions. Hallelujah. God is still there. He has not abandoned you. Come on, do you believe that today? The Bible says that he prepares a table before me. Y'all got to, come on, I'm getting excited right now. Because even before Moses got there, hallelujah, Pharaoh's daughter was put in position by God. How many know that God will have... God will put your enemies in position to bless you. Come on, do you believe that today? That God will even cause your enemies to be in the right position. Hallelujah. Those that are coming against you on your job. Those that are coming against you, come on, in your everyday living. God is setting them up. I believe that today. He's setting them up to be in the right position to bless you. He's going to open up a window for you. Thank you, Lord God. He said he prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemy. You got to understand, amen, that Moses, amen, not only uh, did he float down the river into the enemy's camp, amen, but they took him in and he lived as a prince. Come on, he ate the best. He slept in the best. He lived in the best circumstances. In the enemy's camp. And they knew who he was. 
Because the Bible tells us, amen, as you go down in the scripture, it says that they identified him as a Hebrew child. One that was supposed to be discarded away with. Hallelujah. But a mother's love. Come on, y'all. How many know when, when, when you have a mother's love, God will give her direction? Thank you, Lord God. He will give her direction. And what looks like it's not right. Come on. God will turn it around. All things work together for our good. To them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. I told you we are people of purpose. Come on, you have a purpose. You have a purpose in this life. Thank you, Lord God. So even when your enemies know who you are, come on, they still have no choice but to bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. So don't get discouraged. Don't be dismayed. Don't get upset when it doesn't look like things are going your way. Trust God. Jochebed. That was his mother's name. Jochebed. Aram's wife. That was his father. She trusted God. Amen. You can find her name in Numbers chapter 26, verse 59. She trusted God. And I'm asking you today, come on, you mothers and you fathers out there. Are you trusting God? Come on, trust him, y'all. We have no better help. We have no better help. But there are a lot of us out there that are still building the arcs. Hallelujah. Amen. And sometimes, amen, you, we got to get down and dirty. We got to get on our knees. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. And we got to fight. Come on, are you ready to fight for your children? Come on, are you ready to fight for your grandchildren? Are you ready to fight for your loved ones? Come on, y'all. Are you ready to fight? This is how we fight. I told y'all that. This is how we fight. Hands lifted up. Mouth filled with praise. Come on, this is how I fight. Hallelujah. I, I, I ain't nothing I can do with my fists. Come on, because we don't fight against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. We know what the Bible says. We fight against principality. And you can't hit them with your physical fist. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. This is how I fight. Hallelujah. And when I'm like this, come on, I got my hands up with a sign of victory. Come on, somebody say victory. Come on, I already know I got the victory. When I lift up my hands, come on, y'all, I've got the victory. Thank you, Lord God. You got to understand, amen, that God has purpose for you. Just like he had for Moses. And that purpose was to deliver his people. Thank you, Lord God. So through hard trials, tribulations, persecution, be faithful. Trust him in all of your ways. Acknowledge him in all of your ways. He will direct your path. So I thank God for moms today, the ark builders, the ark builders. Come on, are you an ark builder today? Are you using the right materials today? Hallelujah. Amen. And even if you feel like you failed in some ways, his grace is still sufficient for us. Continue to pray. Continue to love. Continue to try to make that Holy Ghost connection yes. without judgment. Hallelujah. I know they don't always do what we expected them to do. But you got to love them anyway. Come on, you love them until they realize the love of God that's in you that's allowing you to love them. 
Hallelujah. We got to be ark builders, y'all. And it doesn't stop at 18. It doesn't stop at 21. It doesn't stop at 25. As long as God gives you influence over their life. Amen. You make sure you have some bull rushes. Come on, y'all. You make sure you have some material to seed into their life. Hallelujah. Make sure that you keep some slime on hand. Come on, make sure you keep some pitch on hand. Come on. Thank you, Lord God. So that when they get a hole in the boat, you're there to help them to repair it. What is that building block? It's prayer. Come on, it's fasting. It's encouragement. It's the speaking the word of God. Hallelujah. In season and out of season. Now I got you. I want you to understand, amen, that when we apply, hallelujah, the word of God to their lives and to their boats, amen, it's not always going to be a comfortable thing for them. And it won't always be a comfortable thing for you. Hallelujah. Because they feel like when you pull them to the side, you're slowing them down. Huh? You're slowing them down. Amen. But sometimes you got to rein them in. Amen. If God still gives you that influence over their lives, you got to rein them in. Hallelujah. Say, son, daughter, I know you need some repair. Grandson, granddaughter, niece, nephew. Hallelujah. You got to give them some repair, y'all. This is the word of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the ministering of his word. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Amen. I just want you to remember today our moms who are the ark builders. Thank you, Lord God. We thank God. Amen. For our moms today. We thank God for our dads today. Amen. Amen. We thank God for those that are, you know, right now you're in the middle of it. Amen. My, my wife and I, amen. God has blessed us to where we're almost at the point to where we're expecting to be empty nesters. Amen. So we, 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 we made it through a lot. Amen. Still got some ways to go. Amen. I, 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 I want to give a shout out, amen, to my daughter today, uh, Kayla. Uh, the other day she officially became a senior in college, amen. So we thank God for that, amen. I, I, she got one more year, amen, that I'm paying for, amen. And then she's on her own, amen. We're going to let go and let God, amen. <laughs> amen. 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 So we thank God. Amen for, 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 for you. Amen. Some of you, amen, you may feel overwhelmed at this time. You might feel overwhelmed with the, with the rough terrains that you see in front. Or maybe the waters that you might be uh, navigating right now. Things don't look easy. Some of you out there are single parents, single moms, and single dads. and You don't feel like you have any help. But all of your help comes from the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth. And he will not suffer your foot to be moved. He is the Lord that keepeth thee. He never slumbers. He never sleeps. He's always on the job. Hallelujah. You never disturb him. You never have to wake him up. All you got to do is call on his name and he will be right there for you even in the times of trouble. But what you need to practice is in the good times. Come on, praise his name. I said in the good times. Praise his name. And in the bad times, do the same. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you right now on behalf of everyone that is on this line today. All throughout this world, oh God, all throughout this nation, hallelujah. Father, we come to you on our behalf, that you will continue to give us direction in the name of Jesus, as we continue to build the arcs of life. 
Give us the right materials in our mouth. Help us to realize that the building blocks of faith is the word of God. It is how the world was created by the word of your mouth. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us that man cannot live by bread alone, but by the word that proceedeth out of the mouth of our God. And Father, we're asking you right now, even though you already have your word, speak over our lives and speak over our hearts and speak over our situations through our mouth. Help us to realize, oh God, that we have the right to command the blessing. Come on. We have the right to command the blessing in our mouth. Thank you, Lord God. That is in our tongue. Help us today to realize the power that we have through the precious Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. There's someone that might be here on the line today and you don't know the Lord. As your Lord and Savior. May have heard of him. May be aware of some relationships that your mama had or your daddy had. But you need God for yourself. Hallelujah. There's some of us that need to repent for the mistakes that we've done. And we need some repair in our relationships with our children and our parents and our aunts and uncles and just different relationships in life. Husband and wife. How many know God is a God of restoration and repair? Hallelujah. It's his grace that constantly repairs us. Because we're always poking holes in our arcs with the things that we do and the things that we say. So if you find yourself in any category, come on, I want you to repeat this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, look on me. Me, Lord. I'm coming to you for myself, for your forgiveness. For my mistakes, my shortcomings, and my sins. Forgive me, Lord. Oh, come on, y'all. Forgive me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And I'm going to live for you for the rest of my life. I'm depending on you to repair me. To reach my destination in life. To reach my destiny in life. Reach my destiny in life. In Jesus' name. Now today I'm going to just pray for you right now. Because I feel some heaviness on the line right now. I feel some heaviness on the line right now. There are some that are on the line that feel like, well, I'm not able to say what I want to say. I'm not able to do what I want to do. I'm not able to celebrate the way I want to celebrate because of past circumstances. God has not forgotten about you. He has not abandoned you. Even if you are the one that's in the wrong, his forgiveness will cover that too. I need you to believe that. I feel some tears right now. Some tears of unfinished business, unsaid things. Hallelujah. But God is willing to repair you. And I need you to lift your hands. Come on. Come on, I need you to lift your hands right now. And say, Lord, I receive your grace. Come on, it's his grace that's sufficient now. It's his mercy that's sufficient right now. Hallelujah. It's the Holy Ghost that will dry up your tears and turn your tears of sadness into tears of joy. I need you to grab onto that today. Hallelujah. This, this was to encourage you. This word was to encourage you. Hallelujah. And I need you to accept his forgiveness. You know, it's easy to ask. It's another thing to receive. 
That's why he said you got to ask and receive. Come on. Ask and receive. It's easy to ask. But it's the enemy that tries to block you from receiving because he wants to put your mind on things that you cannot change. Yes. Come on, he wants to put your mind, come on, on things that you cannot change. But God wants to change you. Don't get caught up in past experiences. Tell him, Lord, I receive your grace. I receive your mercy. And I receive your forgiveness right now. You're all that I have to ask. Hallelujah. And you're going to see God open up doors. You're going to see God open up ways. You're going to see God get the glory out of your life. Because he's going to make you better. He's going to make you a better person. Come on, he's going to make you a better child of the most high God. I believe in our rest. I receive it. In Jesus' name, we thank God, we thank God, we thank God. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a praise right now. Come on, for his glory. Hallelujah. For your glory. For your glory. Hallelujah. Again, we say thank you, amen, for tuning in on today. Amen. We pray the blessings of God over your life. Amen. We just want to continue to thank you, amen, for your giving. So many have been continuing to give, amen, through our, uh, 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 through the website or mailing it in. You can find all that information of how you can continue to give to the church, amen, and your tithing and your offering, amen. You can go to citadelofhopemission.org, amen. Go on there. Go on that line and stay connected with us. Amen. And we will, that way you can receive everything. Amen. You can look at the uh, uh, past messages or look up any un upcoming events that we're going to be having. Amen. So remember, remember, to we want to bless eight single mothers. All right. Eight single mothers. All right. With at least a $25 gift. Amen. Just to help you along the way. Just to show you that God has not abandoned you. He has not forgotten about you. I know it ain't going to make nobody rich, but a blessing is a blessing. Amen. So how you can get this is to go on citadelofomission.org. Maybe go into the uh, 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 go into the uh, the praise report section. Amen. And when you do that, just give us your information there or you can join us. Uh, just become a follower. Join us somehow there online. Amen. I'm sure that we'll be able to give you some more instructions. Amen. On that. So just look for that in an email or maybe on Facebook or something like that. We're going to do that and we're looking to give those out today. Amen. So if you know somebody in the surrounding area, uh, somebody that might be struggling in their finances or something, amen, we want to be a blessing to them. Amen. So do that with us today. Amen. And we're going to continue to uh, uh, just bless God. Amen. As we go throughout this week again, happy Mother's Day to you all. Amen. As I invite my wife back up here, amen, to come. Come on, sweetie. Uh, we invite her back up here so that we can pray together. We're going to close out. Thank God for my, for my big brother. Amen. And his music ministry. Amen. He's been at it since about five or six o'clock this morning. Amen. So uh, uh, we just want to again, amen, thank you all for joining us. God bless you. Amen. We bid you God's speed and we pray a blessing over each and every household. Happy birthday to everybody with the birthday in this month. Uh, happy birthday to you all. Uh, I can't call the names out right now, but we usually have your names up. If you're part of Citadel of Hope Mission, we put your names up on our website. So we say happy birthday, and we can't wait to see you again in person in the house of God. Amen. And we're looking for relief from this COVID-19. We know that God is still a healer. He's still a way maker, and I know that he's keeping you. Amen? Happy Mother's Day again, sweetie. Come on, let us pray. Father God, we thank you right now for all that you have done. We thank you for this worship service on today. We thank you for the word that was so pertinent. Oh, God, we ask you right now, oh, God, to remind us that we are ark builders. 
hallelujah, that our mothers are art builders, hallelujah, and that we have to have the right material to make sure that we have the building blocks of success. So continue to bless and keep each and every one as we part, oh God, over the line. We thank you, oh God, that we'll be able to come back on tomorrow on our uh, uh, prayer line, amen, and on Wednesday we come back again uh, uh, on for our Bible study on Friday. We come back again for our prayer line again to stay in contact. Continue to bless each and every one in Jesus' name. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, you are my strength and you are my redeemer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, everybody.